Hello everyone. Deaf Bible study lesson number 30. Now you see this question right here? What is the chief end of man? What does chief mean? What exactly? Chief end. What does that phrase mean? Um, I'll explain it to you. It means the, the most important thing. So, um, when you start something, what is the chief end? What is the most important? What is the goal of that process you are, you are making? So that, what is the chief end of man? Meaning, what is the most important thing for man? So try to think about it and um, try and give an answer before I begin this lesson. What verse should we look to first? Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 31. And, uh, and Psalms chapter 16 verse 11. So after you read that, try and figure out the answer. Can you figure out the answer? See, the first uh, verse says, So whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And the second verse, it says, You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. So try and guess what the answer is. The answer is, man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. You remember what the chief end means? So, man's most important thing in life, most important goal, is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. So, here's a drawing right here I'm going to show you. Um, I'm very thankful to my wife. She did a very good job with this. So, imagine you and me are this, is that. You know, our daily lives... You know, revolve our daily lives. We do them at home. We do them at, at church, at work, at school. We study science, the state government. All these things we do in life, we ought to glorify God through them. We enjoy recreation, we enjoy work, we enjoy our church. The whole point of that, our, our whole goal, our chief end is to enjoy God and glorifying God while we do these things, these daily life things. We must glorify God through these things. You know, some people say to me, my goal in life, you know, I'm glorifying God when I do these things. But if you look at this verse, there is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. So be careful. You know, there's people who were watching the Super Bowl. And you know, they were very, very excited about it. If they take God out of the equation, it's not good. But if you enjoy football, it's fine to enjoy football, but as long as you give glory to God, you must give glory to God and enjoy Him. We should thank God that we're provided with football, that He gives us football. But some people forget about God and enjoy football all the whole time. And that's not good. You see, these daily life things, we should always give glory to God while we do these things. And we ought to enjoy Him. You know, some people, they get a new job, they thank God for it. Some go to school, they get into education and get to college. They, they glorify God and thank God for the ability to learn. Some people, they get into politics, they should glorify God 
while they're into politics. Everything they should do, this should point to God, and they should glorify Him. But how do we glorify God? What is, what it is, what does it mean to glorify God? It's very important to give glory to Him. Now, there's two ways to give glory to God: inwardly and outwardly. Inwardly, I encourage you to look at this verse. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20. For God bought you with a high price, so you must honor God with your body. And another verse, Psalms 119, verse 97. Oh, how I love your instructions. I think about them all day long. We should meditate on His Word every day and study His Word every day. That's giving glory to God inwardly. By expressing your love for His Word and enjoying His Word. Do you enjoy His Word? And outwardly, that, that's just as important to praise and glorify Him outwardly. So that may, people may see your pleasure in God. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, For it determines the course of your life. It's very important to express God's love. Um, there's a verse, um, John chapter 17, verse 4, was Jesus praying and said, I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. See, Jesus gave glory to God, and in order to outwardly praise Him, we ought to show, we ought to do good to others. There's another verse, Matthew chapter 4, verse, chapter 4, verse 4. I've been thinking about this verse a lot. It says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. You know, I do these logs because I want to see you all know Jesus. You see, the only way we can meditate on God's words is from the Bible. Because God's word is living. And, you know, we are responsible for spreading the gospel to people. And so I pray that through this vlog you may reach people. You know, I'm, I praise God for people, uh, God met using people, those who wrote the Westminster, so that people may understand who God is. You know, the Westminster isn't the top authority, but God's Word is. So that as we read scriptures, we may glorify God through everything we do. So we may enjoy Him, because God is marvelous. And here's another last verse I'll show. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Teach, them new, teach these new disciples to obey all the command, commands I have given to you. So you ought to obey and follow His commands, spreading the gospel to the people. It should not depend on if they want to hear it or not. We should just present the gospel to them so that we may glorify God. We shouldn't try to fit their needs or their desires. But we should just present the gospel and tell them that they, sh they must submit to God, to His law, to His desires. That's what we should present. What is your chief end in life? I pray that it may be to glorify and to enjoy God forever. I love you all.